How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and I have some great news. The three valve Mustang, well what well, used to be a three valve Mustang, is almost complete. The Coyote swap is almost done and I'm for real this time. The shop has been giving me little breadcrumbs kind of teasing me, you know, and that's why I've been relaying little messages kind of getting your guys' hopes up because they get my hopes up. But this time they said it just needs to be tuned, should be tuned hopefully by the end of this week or early next week. That's what they told me. I'm just relaying it to you guys. Anyways, today, in order to uh, satisfy my craving to go out and go racing, we're going to be taking a look at JDM Overnight's Instagram page. He has an Instagram. He has a YouTube. Support the guy. Puts out killer content. The Supra needs new brakes. I know a lot of you are probably just like, Drew, just go hop in the Supra and go race some people. It needs new brakes. The McLaren needs an oil change. So I'm pretty much, you know, stuck looking at races instead of actually racing. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Today's theme I'm trying to do is like import versus supercar. He doesn't have too many recent import versus supercar races. There are a lot on his page, but we've seen a lot of them. So I got a good amount of them here. Let's go ahead and start with this first one. First race is a built long block plus PTE 64 66 turbo Evo versus a twin turbo Gallardo. We've seen the Evos race before on JDM Overnight's page. Really short gears, really snappy, pretty quick. But I think this twin turbo Gallardo is about to destroy. If that thing says what I think it says, if that says UGR right there, they don't fuck around. I'm betting my money. Twin Turbo Gardo. Let's take a look. hard to tell if you ask me and that is really impressive saying that going up against a twin turbo Gallardo super legera it looked like I mean that's that's just a death wish right there in an Evo 2 I mean you don't have half a motor you have like a third of this dude's motor and you are keeping up with him he has two spoolie snails you have one how is it even possible I know a bunch of import boys and a bunch of 12 year olds right now are just wet over the thought of that but just goes to show man you get a good shop you get a good motor you throw a lot of boost at it you can have a lot of fun keeping up like that is really impressive it looks like the twin turbo got him in this race on the second race it looks like the Evo was ahead for quite some time the Gardo was having trouble keeping up the Evo was pulling away pretty good he had to change lanes it looked like and then the top end of the Gardo I mean like I said Said, those Evo seem to have really short gears and it's just not geared for that but honestly super impressive that is one badass fucking Evo okay next race another Evo is it Evo versus the world maybe this is an Evo episode Bolton's Evo 9 turbo cams on E85 versus an unknown modded S19750 on slicks so Bolton E85 versus 50 Mustang from what we just saw, I better be betting on that damn Evo. I know everyone was going to get mad at me if I don't. Okay, can we talk about how the Mustang absolutely just squatted and went? That is the greatest feeling in the world. When you hook and you hook like that, oh my god, your, your fucking odds just win your favor like crazy, man. He hooked like he was all-wheel drive. That being said, everyone's wondering, why do Evos have such short gears? This comment right here says the same thing. Why do Evos have such short gears? I have no idea. Rally boys, let me know down in the comments. What is it for? I have a feeling it's so they stay in the power band. That makes sense to me. I know Porsches are kind of like that as well. They want to stay in the power band. They want to make it. It's like a track car, you know? That being said, for straight line racing, it just absolutely shoots yourself in the foot. It's like doing a, a foot race with one shoe on. It's not going to help you. That Mustang, pretty impressive. It just goes to show you. And this is something that I think a lot of 12-year-olds need to understand is not every car is the same. You might see one car, and I know this is really stupid, and I'm sure 90% of you can grasp this, but a lot of people think that just because they saw one car with a thousand horsepower, that every car has a thousand horsepower of the same model. No, you might see a fast Supra, 
Next one's not gonna be as fast. Sounds stupid to hear that, but there's a lot of 12 year olds on the internet that probably saw that Evo hang with the Gallardo and is like, oh shit, I'm gonna buy an Evo and it's gonna hang with the Gallardo. As you can see here, not every Evo is quick. This one's still, I mean, pretty damn quick. It's not as quick as that Mustang. Okay, next race, Lamborghini Aventador versus a downpiped E50 tuned Mark V Supra. That's a good looking Supra, okay? The new Mark Vs are growing on me. They are quick with very few bolt-ons. Now the Aventadors are quick as well, but they're also big. I don't know, this is a pretty hard one. If this Mark V Supra beats the Aventador with that little bit of modding, that's pretty impressive. So I'm gonna say Aventador. They're not the fastest things ever, but I mean, they're fucking Lamborghinis. You would hope that it could beat that shit. <laughs> Okay, that's just fucking embarrassing. I mean, it's a race, but that's one embarrassing fucking race. I wouldn't even say that the Lamborghini lost, okay? Because the car itself didn't lose. The fucking driver lost. That's not the car's fault, you know? You have grandpa behind the wheel sleeping on the tree, making a sandwich, making a full carrot cake on the side as well. Put it in the oven, preheated that shit, and still hasn't left yet. The Mark V Super just destroyed his ass, okay? This guy knows what he's doing. He didn't just buy the car. He's out there having fun. The Aventador doesn't know what the fuck's going on, okay? He's fucking... Dude just got flashbanged. The dude's just, you know, out of days. A loss of words. A deer in headlights. It just makes no goddamn sense. I don't know um, why I picked this race. I obviously haven't seen it beforehand, or else I probably wouldn't have included it, because, again... I don't really call this a race. It is a race. I don't want anyone in the comments saying, well, Drew, it, it is clearly a race. You know, they are they are racing. Nah, I get that. I'm just, you didn't. we didn't really get to see much here. We didn't learn anything. We didn't see if the Aventador was truly quicker. We just know that the guy behind the wheel of the Aventador is a fucking moron. So let's move on. Okay, next race. Okay, let's slow it down a little bit. We were just looking at Lamborghinis, Aventadors, you know, cool stuff. Let's take it back to stock Civic 2.0 Sport versus a full bolt-on 91 tune Corolla XRS. I don't know jack shit about these two goddamn grocery getters. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna vote on which one looks cooler. This, this, this one's blue, but this one do look a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go with the. You know, this one do have XRS. That does sound kind of sick, but this one do say sports. I'm gonna go with the sports Civic. Nah, you know what? I'm gonna go with the Corolla. Nah, fuck. This is a hard one. I never thought I'd be so curious on who's gonna win this race, but I'm gonna go with the Corolla. Toyota gang. Go! <laughs> Not much of a competition. Oh, dude, I almost had a fast start too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you know your car is fucking slow if you can race in the snow. If you can have traction in the snow. I was right. My Toyota gang, hashtag Toyota gang gang. Oh, yeah, we took the dub there, okay? That's that's how we do it. I don't care if you're in a Supra, Corolla, Camry. You're going to beat Hondas all day, every day. I don't care if it's a Type R. It wasn't. But even if it was, same fate. Same fate. I'm joking. The Type R would have smoked it anyways. He didn't, he didn't get a bus length on it, though. That's like, that's like one and a half bus lengths right there. That's pretty impressive. Old Blue right there just took a nice dub. And it is pretty impressive, too, that the Toyota was leaving tire marks when it was shifting. It was chirping the tires a little bit. I'm sure it's a pretty fun little car. That being said, not super interesting. I'm sure no one was asking, but hey, now you know. All right, next race that no one was asking for. Procharged Jeep SRT8 on E85 versus a Tesla Model 3 Performance. I don't like the Model 3s. Uh, they just, they look weird to me. I'm not a huge Tesla guy, but the Model 3s, uh, give me a Model S. Fuck the Model 3. Uh, that being said, they are quick. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know that a lot of these were from Digs. If this is from a Dig, Tesla's gonna win. If it's from a Roll, it's, Tesla might still win. I don't know, let's take a look. I 
I mean, what did I say? What did I say? If it's from a dig, the Tesla is going to win. I know that because I reviewed one and it was a hell of a lot of fun. Would I like to own one as a daily? Yeah, you could fuck around and you can have a lot of fun with them. Okay, but there, there is no re replacing the whole engine noise, gasoline, the sound, the smell. There is no replacing that. Okay, maybe it's my old school 90s boy mentality. You know, I'm so hip. I'm so old school. I was just born in an era where I love to smell gasoline. So it is what it is. Anyways, it's a race set again. I mean, you know, yeah, cool. You beat a Jeep. Yeah, cool. You beat a Tesla. No one really wins. I guess it was a pro charge Jeep, but it's still a fucking Jeep. I mean, it's a fucking, it's a Jeep. Cool race. Interesting to see. But yeah, those damn electric cars, man. From a dig, quick. Next race, we have a BMW on BMW race. We have a Do Crace, Do Crashy. I don't know how to pronounce that. Single 6266, port injected, stage three, IPFP tuned on E85 versus a PS2. Uh, I love the PlayStation turbos. Uh, F10 M5 injectors, meth injected, tuned on E85. As a whole lot for both cars, I know that the 335Is move really good. The new M5 though, not too sure about that. I, I know the 335s though, pretty quick. I'm going to bet on the 335. I'm gonna mute the first race and not even replay it because we didn't learn much and it was playing some really lame like porno music that being said on the second race i mean dude got him by like half a car his passenger was hyped as fuck i mean he won by half a car i mean winning is winning i get it but maybe there's some beef that just got buried right there now we know who's faster what was it manual too is this dude is this dude rowing a boat as well I think he is. It seems like he is because the shifts are pretty aggressive. That's nice right there. Okay, that's always a cool flex. You know, you're beating these automatics while rowing boats. Fun as fuck. Daddy was right once again. Those 335Is can move. The newer BMWs, I don't know what it is, but I just, I haven't seen any really quick ones. I raced an M8 competition. Didn't do it for me. I raced M3s, M4s. I raced an M5. I don't know. I feel like BMW might be going in a couple steps in the wrong direction. That might upset a couple people. I might rustle a few feathers, but... The old N54s, they seem to be solid. The reason why people are still out there racing them. Okay, next race. We have a turbo K24A2 on 12 pounds, 93 octane versus a full bolt on cam D85 50. I thought it was a fucking 46 for a second. Okay. Versus another turbo K28A2, 12 pounds, 93 octane. So we have two identical cars versus a full bolt on cam Mustang. Okay, I think the Mustang is going to get gapped and it's gonna be a fucking tie between the other two. They look identical, besides the color. Which paint weighs more? We're about to find out. Turns out blue is the faster color. You know, if you wanna get you know an extra five or 10 horsepower, paint your car blue, it seems to be better. That being said, these comments always bust me up, man. Bro, that's embarrassing. Lamau V8 can't hang with two four cylinders mods or not. I think it's only fair to talk about stuff like that when you have both spent about the same amount of money into your build. If you spent 10,000 on the Acura and 10,000 on the Mustang, then which one would be faster? That's a fair argument right there. I mean, that being said, they still gap the fuck out of him. If I was them, I would have thrown on the hazards and everything. It would have been fucking hilarious. Last race, intake, full exhaust, tune, ZL1 versus a Kraftwerk supercharged 8th gen versus a 700 plus wheel horsepower supercharged 5.0. Okay, ZL1, fucking heavy as shit. They are quick though. The 5th the, the, the gen ZL1s are surprisingly fast. The Honda, if it hangs, I'm going to be really surprised. I'm betting on the Mustang.
Okay, we, we gotta talk about how fucking quick that Mustang dipped out of there. Look at this shit. Look at this thing. Look at this guy in the background. Fucking gone instantly. Never shows up for a race again. Look at this. Bye. Instantly gone. Bye. Anyways, gapping a ZL1, fifth gen or not, really impressive right there, man. I bet that ZL1 owner wants to sell this shit out of his car. Not only did he get gapped by a Mustang, but he got gapped by a Honda at the same time time i on the way home i would drop that shit off at a fucking junkyard or something like that if, if i was that zeal one owner and i just got put on blast three times in a row with other spectators watching you get gapped by a honda dude no one wants to race you at that point well everyone does actually because everyone's gonna get some great footage gapping the fuck out of the zeal one it looks like the zeal one got the hit on this one and the fucking honda still came around him that is hilarious right there and embarrassing to say the least for the ZL1. But I was right again. Don't fuck around with Mustangs, man. Those third gen coyotes, fucking quick. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I am super excited to get my car back and go out to Mexico and have some fun. I'm hoping I can hurt a lot of feelings. We'll see. I know I'm not the fastest guy out there. I'm not trying to be, but I do like having fun. So I am looking forward to getting that car back. Anyways, guys, if you want to see more videos like this one, subscribe to my channel and go check out JDM Overnight's page. Hit that like button. Comment down below which race was the funnest or most impressive. And until next video, peace.